Mobile food carts, they are a permanent fixture of the New York City mm -hmm. food scene, definitely very trendy. And many New Yorkers love to eat from them every single day. But unlike restaurants, customers don't know if or when the carts are issued food safety violations. So exactly how food, how safe is the food you do get on the street? Let's find out. Our Joe Waldman wanted to know, and he joins us now with quite Do we a, want to know? a big change in report. I think a lot of people are going to think differently after they see this, Joel. Whether you want to know and what you're about to find out are two different things, but what we did find was pretty gnarly. Fox 5 News has obtained 18 months worth, worth of food cart inspections. We tracked down the ones with the most violations, some that just might make you a little bit queasy. Oh. Ever been hungry on the go? Well, if you're like most New Yorkers, you've probably eaten at one of the hundreds of mobile food carts parked on almost every New York City street corner. But do you really know how clean those carts are? Or if they're doing enough to safeguard your health? Fox 5 News wanted to know, so we obtained thousands of inspection records from the city's Department of Health. We crunched the numbers and tried to track down some of the mobile food carts with the most violations over the last year. What we found might make you lose your appetite. In 2012, the New York City Department of Health slapped mobile food vendors with nearly 7,000 violations. Those violations range from live rodents to food being kept at dangerous temperatures. Some vendors were even serving up mystery meat. This food cart on 43rd and 6 racked up a total of 15 Department of Health violations in 2012 over four different inspections. But that still did not prepare us for what we caught with our undercover camera. Take a real close look. The vendor blows his nose in a napkin and then uses that same snot-filled napkin to wipe down the food prep areas. Blow your nose, clean this. Is that okay? I don't know. I'm not speaking English. You also what do you speak? What language? Arabic. But no matter what language you speak, what we caught him doing back in December with our undercover cameras was flat out disgusting and dangerous to his customer's health. A nearby food vendor volunteered to translate. We showed both the alarming video. What did he say? Is it safe? He said he's not safe. He knows it's not safe. Like, uh, they're sick. Not surprisingly, last year the vendor was cited once for failure to maintain personal hygiene and on three separate occasions cited for food not protected from potential contamination. When we confronted him, he blew his nose again. Not wearing gloves seems to be a pattern. Our cameras also caught him barehanded smoking while handling futons. The worker didn't have much to say, but we did reach the food cart owner by phone. He told us his cart follows safe food practices and all his outstanding violations had been paid. The New York City Department of Health fined mobile food vendors $16 million last year. $15 million of that went uncollected, leaving critics to wonder, where's the enforcement? We asked the DOH for comment for this story, but they declined. Maybe part of the reason so many fines go uncollected is because tracking down food carts is next to impossible. That's because they're mobile. Many of the carts on our list were no longer at the address of their last inspection. Food carts are supposed to be identified in part by a decal number, but some food carts don't even have the decal, like this one we found on 61st in Madison. I would want to know what I was uh, getting involved with if I was going to pick up a hot dog uh, or something else from that cart. New York City Councilman Daniel Gorodnik is a proponent of instituting a letter grade system for mobile food vendors, just like with restaurants. Of any fines, penalties, uh, or health issues, uh, that information should be readily available, should be available right there on the cart. But so far, those letter grades are not available, leaving dirty food cart customers to fend for themselves, finding out about grimy carts by word of mouth or from us. He blew his nose in a rag and then wiped down the uh, entire counter with oh, it. Oh, come on. This family of four just bought dinner from the food cart vendor who used a snot rag to wipe down his cart. That's disgusting. He's spitting it out. He's oh. spitting it. Did you just spit your hot dog out? Yes. How come? Because <laughs> I don't want to get sick. But this might make you sick. Fox 5 found in the last year alone at least 12 food carts in New York were cited for vermin or other live animal present in food storage, preparation, or service area. Were there rats and vermin over here? Is that why you were shut down? Yeah. 
This busy fruit cart on 68th Street in Lexington was closed for unsanitary conditions after inspectors working on a complaint found major vermin activity among the produce. They were back in business a few months later after passing reinspection. The vendor told us off camera they fixed the vermin problem. The cart owner had no comment. Hey, how you doing, sir? I'm Joel Walman with Fox 5 News. We're doing a story on uh, mobile food carts. Meet the man behind the food cart slap with a total of 22 violations in just the last year, the most in all of New York City. His food cart is parked in front of the Apple Store on West 67th and Broadway. Do you know that uh, you had the most violations of any food cart in the city? Do you know about that? No. That you had the most violations? Is that fair to your customers, do you think? No, no, two to me. Our cameras caught the vendor using a filthy, oily-looking rag to wipe down his utensils, all while smoking a cigarette. Not to mention another vendor who works for the same cart picking up this pretzel from the dirty city sidewalk before putting it back on the pile of pretzels. Fellow food vendors were even leery about buying from these guys. Would you eat over there? Never <laughs> in my life. <laughs> Maybe because they routinely saw food handling practices like the ones we caught on tape. Watch very closely. Our vendor bends down to pick up a dirty napkin off the ground with his left hand. He already has a bag in his right hand. He picks more garbage up with his right hand, but never throws away the dirty napkin from his left hand. That napkin goes into a compartment in his cart. What happened next was very wrong. A short time later, he goes back to his compartment takes out that same dirty napkin he picked up from the ground and uses it to wipe down a piece of meat before serving it to a clueless customer. Why would you pick a rag off the street and then try to clean a piece of meat? It's not fair to your customers. Me? Yeah, no. you. No, 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 no. It's not me. It's not me. You're on video. No, no, it is no, 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 no. It's not me. Deny it to us, but our video seemed to be on par with what the DOH found. 22 violations over five consecutive inspections. Violations included finding spoiled food, potentially hazardous food temperatures, and on all five occasions, not protecting food from potential contamination. How do you feel about that? Yeah, disgusting. Would you eat there now? No, I'm good. <laughs> How's your appetite? <laughs> I was going now. <laughs> we want to. Uh, encourage the vendors who keep their carts clean and they're serving food safely. But for the folks who are the bad actors out there, they have consistent record of, of failure to, to be clean. We don't really want uh, to keep that sort of a business on the street. And at a minimum, people should know what they're getting into when they're buying food from that vendor. Now you can go to our website, myfoxny.com, to see if your favorite food cart is on our list of the top 10 food carts with the most violations over the last year. The Department of Health told us in a statement that they're developing a new handheld device to better track down mobile food carts. We also reached out to the Mobile Food Cart Association for an interview for this story, but they declined. And Stephen Darry, I have had a stomach bug. This is not a joke for the last week. Maybe it's related to this. Joel, I, I saw us promoting that, and I thought it would be one thing. That was so far <laughs> beyond what I was expecting. That was oh. shocking. Yeah, we had our cameras rolling for about uh, three months. We, we caught some other stuff, but these really kind of were the gotcha moments that make you think, wow, what am I eating yeah. when I go to these food carts? Astounding. Yeah. Joel, great work. Thank we you. Appreciate right. it. Thanks, Thank Joel. You. Yeah, it's incredible. All right, well, we want to know what you think after seeing our story. Would you think twice before eating at a food cart? I didn't think a story would change my mind. Mm -hmm. That story changed my mind. Mm -hmm. Go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash fox5ny. Leave us your comments. We'll read some of them later in the show. It's going to take me a while to get over that one. I know. Wow.